all right guys so this is how i'm looking to start the video okay guys so you know i just showed it here and uh, i don't know if i had said it before but the link to the specific way will be in the description bar down below so this is how i start off the video in my proper bonnet and i have my hair braided back in two because this wig is a headband wig so the purpose of a headband wig is something quick we don't have to do much now my braids kind of start close to the front i'm not really sure how i go maneuver this but let's see we're gonna figure it out together wig cap they sent me a pack of wig cap two come in there but i have one way i did use one out of it already so i will just be using this one now the purpose of a headband wig i'm sure i know, know headband wig already but guess what i'm my sponsored video this so i'm go watch that one here and listen so you know with headband wig you don't need no got to be glue you don't need no ball cap method and i need all of them something there right but you wear a stocking cap just to protect gear here and then protection and keep the wig on more snug so i'm putting on my stocking cap that is shedding right now we're wearing a headband wig and clearly now i'm gonna wear a stocking cap all the way at the front of your forehead like that right because the purpose of a headband wig is to create the illusion that you know your ear will grow somewhat from your scalp because but no, no, that means say you can leave out the front part of your hair when you wear the headband wig right so you bring back you gonna bring back to as far as you can because you kind of want to leave out some of your hair front when you wear a headband wig now bring my camera was skin road loosely so it kind of you know I can't bring it back to this far without the cornrows showing, even though the little parts are going to show, but not to worry. Hopefully, we can fix that. So, clearly, when you do your wear your headband wig, you want to fix up the edges. You can see my head front thin, so um, it can't stay so okay. It look peel up, peel up, and chaka chaka. Also, guys, um, when i did my last lace installation i did shave off around my baby ear because when i when i want to bring the wig all the way down to my eyebrow that not cute so yeah so i'm in the process of growing back my baby hair that actually comes down to my eyebrows so we're gonna go in now and groomy groomy up these right your edge brush, your rat tail comb, your handy dandy toothbrush. Today I will be using my handy dandy toothbrush. this edge lane thing but um to be honest this edge control does make it a bit easy for me it's not too hard to do so you know it can work my headphone can kind of look like my candle something <laughs> into the wig i'm gonna show some openings already but of course you want to store your wig and so it still was in the bag that it came in this is the color that i'm working with and it's 
still in the mesh that it came in and this is the color of the wig so i'm just removing everything now this is how it's looking nice and bouncy and full again with the beyonce channeling my inner beyonce so this is it this is how it's looking and I think the color will complement my skin tone. You know, especially when my beard I wash my face and well cool and sash it down. Yeah, it can work. And I'm usually a jet black hair type of person. So this this is a nice little, you know, nice little thing for me. Alright, so headband wig. Headband, hence why it's called headband wig comes with this velcro strap in the back adjustable so if your head is you know a little bit smaller you can go ahead and put it here if it's a little bit if you have more hair no nobody said must them head big you can go ahead and put it here right right um hook in the back to secure which i usually tuck that hook underneath my um my cornrows that are down at the back it also comes with these two straps it, it also comes with these two straps that you can attach like so in the back like so let me see if i can let you see like so and like so right but sometimes when I attach it like that, it get tight and feel like my ears right as I go bust. So what I'm going to do, because I don't really know if this um, wig is tight, tight. I'm just going to attach it to this. I don't know if I'm going to call it first or last. But first hole from the um, comb. Right. That's where I'm going to attach it for now. If it needs to be tighter, then in the future, I'll just attach it like how I showed you initially. All right. Now, inside, it comes with the combs in the front. These combs in the front, you would use to anchor them underneath your stocking cap. Or if you're not having a stocking cap, it's going to use for anchor it at the front so that it not slide back and move all over the place. And it also... Well, basically, it's like it has three combs in the front. So, this would be in the middle and these two kind of, I assume, would fall somewhere right here. So, I'm going to go ahead now and put this wig on for the first time ever I saw your face. Alright. So, this is the wig. I'm going to put it on from back to front. So I'm going to hook this in the back here. So grab the front. This middle hook. I'm going to put. No. It now all in at the back you know. So I have to go from front to back. Alright. So this middle hook I'm going to put, put in right here like so. Underneath the stocking cap here at the front. And then this other hook here, I will be securing right here at the side under the stocking cap at the front. And this other hook here, open I can see, hook one kind of low. The other hook. Okay, the other comb I'll be securing here right at the side. What you call this the temple? under the stocking cap and then just pull down everything now Ugh. all right yeah hold the cap of the wig and just pull it down to cover up everything tuck on around the back and the comb in the back you tuck it under so everything oh this hey this 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 um wig cap perfect size with um the straps being where i place them 
perfect perfect it feels good so this is how i'm looking so far guys edges laid wig on then i ready i'm ready when i say i'm ready when when i call me and me say i'm ready i'm here don't come yet i'm really ready because by the time i'm gonna reach me ready see ya girl ready girl ready catch up this little because my ear a bounce all over from my back it at watch niceness anyway watch convenience so this is it these are the velcro straps this is it um why this one hurt my eye my edge what i'm going to do though is fold up my headband since as my hair has the two corners at the front um and clearly you can see the headband i like that it is wide like this because if your head kind of and you have more space around the front then you know this kind of wider if you don't have much head you can just simply fold this back just like that i'm going to go ahead now and secure the velcro at the back This could have like a tighter for me or not necessarily because I'm usually one to tighten up my wigs until I get headache but this week comfortable. No need for the tighter. I'm showing you all the box there. Open a can see. So you, you clean up your kitchen area. Clean up the kitchen area right here so, so that it look nice and neat. So if you catch up your ear in a ponytail, it nice and neat. You know why you're stuck in cap a show around this and all of them something. So this is it now. Now with this wig, I got a headband. Where the headband already? I'm not going to tell no lie. Where it already. But this is the this is the headband that I got. So I'm going to put it on now. Only one them send me. Only one them send me. I'm going to put it on now. And show you know how that will look. Fix it up. Now, as you can see, this will fall up kind of show. So, let me try to fix it up. I don't really want that. That's going to look tacky. Eh? So, the headband that they sent me is wide enough to actually cover the black part actually i use the phone as my mirror guys all right so i'm satisfied let me show you so you see the side no black showing you see around the back no black showing you want it look like you just have on a headband around a sewing or if it's a hair texture that's closer to yours you want them for things so you just draw my headband around your natural hair clearly this is not a texture close to mine so y'all know it already it's a wig everybody ever know but you still want it look good let me tell you look, guys density thickness the body at the ear is good um get a little brush out i can already tell there will be shedding i can feel it and um but nothing wrong with that because A ear it has a shed. Even our real ear shed. I don't understand how people now want the wig them for shed and our real ear shed. Remember I sew them so ear together you know, so it must shed. And look, that much now come out. You can see that. See, that much now come out. Brush out she now, you can see. Brush her out nice. Nice and clean. It's thick, guys. Nice body to the hair. 
Not gonna lie. My brush falling apart. The part was supposed to be there on the back. Can't find it, but that's okay. It works. Rapunzel, Rapunzel. What's this there? Let down your hair, Rapunzel, you. You know me this. By the time you blow the arm already. Mm -hmm. Nice little body wave thing to it. Yep. So this is she. And you're ready. Nice and clean. Headband wig. Nice and clean. Headband wig. Ooh. Ooh. So guys, my phone apparently I take orders from somewhere else. It stopped recording. But no miss not much. I don't miss when I did that put in the scrunchy because I could catch it up in a one. So you know, catch it up in a one. You know, this is how it's looking. You know, you make sure you fix your something. And I would not wear it all because even though it's December here, I yard still pretty warm. So what I would do, I brush it off properly. How oh, I am going to wear my wig when I'm not going out? Cause when I'm going out, I would wear it. Um, you know, wear it out. But when I'm not, so I'm in the yard. I'm just around go somewhere real quick. Draft my headband wig. It will be up in our bun. So you catch up your hair. And you. Wrap it. Brush it for form the curls. And you wrap it up neatly. You can wear hair pins. If you don't want to wear a scrunchie. I would wear a scrunchie as well as a hairpin because the hair is kind of heavy and I don't want it to loose up. So even though I wrap it with a scrunchie, I would still use ear pins to kind of anchor the bun so that it doesn't go awry while I'm on the road. And this is how it's looking. This is it from the back. Headband wide enough to cover the the headband that came with it. This is how it's looking. And this is how it looks at the side. Covered everything up neat. And this is me. From the front. Nice and neat. And decent looking. So guys, that is it for this video. There is nothing left to be said because it's a quick video and why quick because it's a quick hairstyle. But guys, this is it for the video. If you are new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed this little quick video. I hope you consider becoming a part of the family. Hit the subscription bell down below and leave your comments. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like these. I'm not promising at all, but or they might get some more videos like these and so guys this is it for the video another day of vlogmas i hope you are enjoying the christmas season as it goes along the holiday seasons the festivities if you are grinch uh, too bad for you anyway i hope you consider subscribing and becoming a part of the family hit the subscription bell turn your post notifications on so that you'll be the first to be notified each time i upload a brand new video until the next one